In today's lesson, you are going to be creating a Google Doc, and this doc is going to be called My Favorite Animal. You are going to have to write three different sentences about your favorite animal, and then you're going to give me your favorite facts or some facts for your animals. So that's what we're going to do. You need to open up your Google document, and let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to add a title. So when you open your document, you can see it's just a blank document. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to focus on my toolbar. You'll notice on the toolbar you have several things. We have our undo button, our redo button, pressing print. We can do a spelling and grammar check. This is for um, copying format, which means it might be the color of the font. It could be the certain font or the font size. This is for viewing our document. We can make it smaller or larger. This is really important that a lot of people don't use, which we're going to be choosing the style of our text. And I'll get with that in a second. Here is where you can change your font, which we're not going to worry about today. We're going to use the settings that are built in already on our Google Doc. This would be able to change your font size. This makes your font bold, italicized, or underlined. We can change our font color. We can highlight our font. We can insert a, in, uh, a link, a hyperlink. And then these are adding comments or images. This is if we want to center something or put it on the left or on the right. It's called our alignment options. We can put spaces between our lines here. We can add check boxes. We can add bullets. We can add numbers. And then here is when we are adding those different bullets or numbers, how we can indent. So that is what we need there. And then this last one is to clear our formatting. Make sure you're always in editing. Sometimes it might be in suggesting mode and it just switches sometimes. If you don't see the toolbar, you might need to press this arrow here. And sometimes that just happens and we don't understand where our toolbar went. So those are things to look out for. So let's get started. Our very first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a heading for our document. So this is where I want you to come over here to where it says normal text. And let's just go ahead and choose our title. So let's apply the title. Notice that already changes our font size and it changed our font. What we're going to do is our title is about my favorite animal. So you're going to need to click about my favorite animal. If you notice anything has red squiggly lines, it means you misspelled it. So you need to click on that and fix it. So don't turn it in if there are some spelling errors. So go ahead and pause the video and put your title. All right, the next thing we want to do is we're going to press enter and that will take us to the next line. Notice our normal, our text has gone back to normal. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our content. I'm going to press enter one more time to give us a little bit more space. And if I want to make this text a little bit bigger than 12, I can go back in and I can even put it at heading two. That might be a little bit bigger. And let's go ahead and we're going to start with our very first sentence. My favorite, and do you see how it already started writing it for me? If you like the word, you can press tab and it will select that. My favorite animal is, and I want you to go ahead and fill in your favorite animal. Please pause the video and do that now. All right, now that you're back, let's go ahead and you're going to go to the next line. To go to the next line, press enter. And we're gonna say it lives in, and then fill it in. Now notice before you do that, it has also changed back to normal text. If we want this to be back to the same as before, I can press heading two and it automatically changes it for me. Go ahead and finish that one now. All right, now you're going to press enter again and see if the text has changed. I do want mine to be the same as this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type my next one. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Here's what I want you to do. It eats, and then I want you to fill in the blank. I, want, I don't want you to put a blank. I want you to put in the food that it eats, and then a period, and come right back. 
All right. So notice that it lives in is different than it eats. The setting is different. So if I click up here, that's heading to. If I click here, it's normal text. Here's what I'm going to do. I want you to highlight this where it's in heading to and then press the paint format. It copies the format. So that would be the font and the font size. And if it was a different color. Now I want you to highlight it eats and let go. And notice when you highlighted it and let go, it changed all of that to the same exact style or format that the sentence above. Now, keep it right there. Notice it's also blue. If I pressed enter right now to get to the next line, watch what happens. It deletes. So because it was highlighted when I pressed enter, it replaced my words with with the line. So I'm going to press undo. I'm going to go right up here or control C and it put it right back. Now to unhighlight it, I'm just going to click outside and I'm going to press enter again and one more time. Now we're going to list some facts about our favorite animals. So I do want to keep this in heading three. So go ahead and set that for heading three and then we're going to write the sentence. Some interesting facts about this animal, spell it correctly, R, and then a colon. All right, go ahead, press pause, and write that now. Okay, now we're going to press enter, and notice it is back to normal text, and I want it back to normal text, but I also want to list out three facts. So my three facts I want to do in numbers. So I'm going to go up here at the top of my toolbar and I'm going to press the numbered list and it goes ahead and puts number one for me. And then I want you to write your first fact that you like about a dog or whatever animal you've chosen. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to write a fact. I'm just going to give a placeholder. All right. Now, when I do that fact one and I'm ready to press enter to go to the next line, it already gives me number two. Two. So go ahead and you're going to write three facts about your favorite animal and come back when you're finished your favorite facts. All right, now that you're finished, there's only one thing I want to do. I want to put about my favorite animal in the middle, in the center of this, of this top line. So you're going to have to highlight it or you could even press it at the beginning, just put your cursor at the beginning or highlight either way. And then I'm gonna go up to the alignment button and click that and then press the middle one where, where the second one where it says center and then it's going to move it. You don't have to add spaces and try to figure it out. You can just do that simply by using the alignment tool. You can change also the color of your font. So to do that, all you have to do is click right here at the beginning of your title, hold down your shift button to highlight, and then use your right arrow key to go all the way to the end. And that is highlighted, so it's selected. So we are going to change the color of this font. Go right up here to the A with the underline here, and you can choose a color that you wanna change your font to. So if you changed it to pink is fine, but you can change the color of your header only. Right now, after this, we're going to put an image. So let's go ahead and press enter, press enter again, and then that number goes away. Press enter again, and now we're going to press insert an image. It's going to insert an image right where our cursor is. So wherever your cursor is, is where the action is taking place. Let's use the tool. We can either use insert and go to image, search the web, or we could just use this icon on the toolbar. I'm going to press insert image, search the web, and then now I'm going to type my favorite animal, which is dog. And I will scroll through and find a dog that I think is the cutest. And... Oh my goodness, look at that one and press insert. And now I have my dog right there on the screen. Now, if you wanted to move it around, if you press this right here, you have different options on the bottom and you could move it around if you wanted to move it 
behind the text, you could put it up here at the top. But one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to cover our words. So just go ahead and keep yours at the bottom. And you can also change the size of your, of your image as well by using these handles on the side. When we're finished, you can either press the turn in button right here at the top of yours or go back to Google Classroom. And then when you're finished turning it in, you can go to when you're finished.